Hello, this is Dr. Carla Oyer. In this medical minute, we're going to talk about diverticulitis. It seems like the standard treatment course for patients with suspected diverticulitis in the emergency department is to obtain a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis and then start antibiotics. Well, a CT scan is only really needed if you suspect that they have an abscess, microperforation, or they're not responding to conventional treatment, or if you suspect an alternative diagnosis. However, what should the conventional treatment be? Several recent studies from Sweden, Iceland, and the Netherlands have shown that patients treated with antibiotics did not fare any better than patients who were just observed. Uh, there was no difference in the time to resolution of symptoms, in the complication rate, recurrence rates, or even the duration of hospitalization. Several national societies in the Dutch, Danish, German, and Italian now recommend withholding the antibiotics in patients free of risk factors like diabetes and other comorbidities who have uncomplicated disease, but these patients will need close follow-ups, re-examinations, and so on. The take-home point from this medical minute, patients with diverticulitis can be treated supportively and probably do not require antibiotics unless you suspect they have a complication of the disease or they're immunocompromised in any way. Sometimes I can't sleep, so I take rest more at night. It helps me fall asleep fast and stay asleep. I need more energy during the day so I can get more done and feel refreshed. So I take Meta 7 every morning. Rest more is an all natural sleep formula intended to aid your natural sleep cycle. Meta 7 was developed by Dr. John Gilmore to boost your metabolism. Visit Amazon and try both today.